What's going on guys? It's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports and today we're reviewing the Hoka One One Clifton 8. This is a shoe that is a flagship in Hoka's lineup. Essentially, it's gonna fit a ton of people for a lot of different needs, depending if you're a 5K racer, a marathoner, or ultra distance runner, or you don't run races and you just like to log your miles. This is gonna find a great place in your lineup and I'll go into each one of those as we go through the review. So this is my second review of the shoe. I've put about 50 miles in it by now. And as we can see here in the midsole, it, there, it's, it is showing a little bit of sign of creasing and wear and tearing, but it's not losing any of the responsiveness and it's not um, sinking in further than it was in the past. It's just normal wear and tear. And I think it'll stay that way for a couple hundred miles. So the upper has continued to not give me any issues. There's no, um, there's no overlays that are gonna give me any hot spots. The one thing I will always mention with, uh, with the Clifton series is that if you have a wider foot, I recommend that you go up half a size or that you just opt for the wide version to make sure that you don't have any, um, I guess, pressure in the arch. So the, I do find that these shoes run a little bit narrow for myself and other people with a wider foot. So make sure that you can go up half a size or go for the wider version. So we have the extended, we have the extended Achilles tab, which is just gonna make it really easy to slip on and off. I find that it works wonders for me because I don't tie my shoes like a lot of other runners. I just kind of slip them in once I set it. I totally forget it and I just keep moving. But that's something that you don't really need to worry about with this shoe is that it does maintain its structure and it's not gonna loosen up over time. So it's gonna continue fitting and you're gonna be able to slip right in if you're not concerned about it being like super tight and locked onto your foot. You're still gonna have a great experience because the tongue is padded, but there's a little bit of give so that you can slip into there. And the upper, like I mentioned, doesn't have a ton of overlays, so it's gonna be very breathable. It doesn't provide, doesn't give you any hot spots. so A plus on the upper, I really enjoyed it. And moving into the outsole of the shoe, we can see that in this year's model versus last year's, they did add more rubber, and that's just gonna make the shoe that much more durable. Um, the midsole is super, super durable. This can last for hundreds of miles, but in a past version, in the last version, the Clifton 7, I did run into the, uh, the little rubber parts kind of wearing down pretty quickly, and starting to come off. Um, not to worry though, the EVA is so responsive that it's not really gonna eat into the shoe and impact your performance. If you live in a more wet climate, this is definitely gonna serve you well because you do have that extra rubber and that extra grip. And so far, I haven't seen near the amount of wear on this rubber that I did on the previous version. And of course you have it here in the heel for the heel strikers and for when you're just slowing down and going downhill. So I think that the shoe is just more durable overall than it was last year. Um, it's more comfortable just because the, they're always improving on the EVA midsole and the early stage meta rocker Which I don't think we talked about essentially is here underneath your forefoot And it's gonna help roll your gait forward. So you're gonna have a more natural gait You're gonna prevent injury and it's gonna give you less friction when you're running on the road to make sure that you can get your best times And just really enjoy your running experience So speaking of running experience, I did talk about a couple different distances of who the shoe would be good for if you're a 5k runner, I would say that this is probably going to be uh, your long distance shoe. So you're probably going to take this up to like 10 miles on your long run. And you know, if this is going to serve you really well because it's still light, it's still responsive and it has a ton of cushion for the longer bit of miles that you're going to be doing there. If you're a marathoner, this is a great shoe for your just daily trainer because it's so durable and you can put so many miles on it and it can take your long runs. You can take this all the way up to that 22 mile long run. You can definitely even run your marathon in this shoe. But like I said, if you're a marathoner, this is gonna be great for your training circuit as well. And for your ultra marathoners out there, I know a lot of people really like running in the Bondi because it's so cushioned, it's really wide, and your feet might swell while you're running those long distances. So when you're working on your speed days, and for you, your speed day might be like 20 miles or something insane, this is still gonna be a great shoe for you because it falls into that lineup of being light, being responsive, and it's gonna provide you all that cushion that the marathoners are taking advantage of as well. So if you're a Roadrunner Sports VIP, you get 90 days to try this shoe out. So definitely check it out. And you also get free shipping on all your online orders. So there's no risk to try this shoe out. I'll definitely give this one a go and check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below of the Hoka One One Clifton 8. My name's Brandon and I'll see you on the road.